god, this is how we're starting every. I swear. You know the jam video when. Shush. Morning. Okay, it is. 807 on Saturday and right now we are heading towards Whistler um, I think but first we're trying to get food <laughs> because it's breakfast and we practically woke up like an hour half an hour ago and we're finally at the house so yeah getting food don't know which one Tim's or McDonald's oh, we're still going Tim's even though they screwed us over no, that was that one place. That one. That, that was the one place. Like, I don't know, but many places in many places right now have seemed to be screwing us over. Did you hit the curb? No, it's the speed bump. So there is the same. Yeah, um, it'll be a dead morning. I don't think most most of us want to talk right now. So we'll just cut to when next thing happens. Back door. Yeah, no, the, when you push it. So update, like, Tim's and BC sucks. It sucks. Literally. Very. I'm glad you guys would have learned by now. Bro, dude, we, you said two. That was their second success. chance. Literally their second chance. So where are we going now? Uh, uh Horseshoe Bay. Okay. Ooh, what's to do there? Uh, look at Harbor Seals. Yay! Falls. Horseshoe Bay is on the way to Shannon Falls. Okay. Is Alex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then she's having her vertical time. There's a uh, more. There's like some more lookout points on the way to Whistler. Oh, so we're just like, we're, we're gonna, so like, like we're going to Jasper our back. Look, mountain. And go. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I not. I. We don't I, need I to leave the, the car at all. I know the vibe. I get it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Basically. But we'll see you guys soon. Be Bye. Roll. Day three is our busiest day yet. A day trip to Whistler, topped off with an evening at the Richmond Night Market. We start our day by heading towards Horseshoe Bay, where I've been told Harbor Seals like to play. And now, a terrible David Attenborough impression. Upon reaching the bay, we disembark and explore. With no signs of any seal life, we make our way to an outlook. Lucky is the moment we reach that point where we find something extraordinary. A mother and her pup, the father not too far away either. While they basked in the morning sunlight, little did they know there was another seal in the vicinity.
Our next stop was the Sea to Sky Gondola. A gondola that took you to a mountaintop that would overlook the sea cliffs and give you a great view of the big rock wall known as the Stalwomis Chief. We didn't go, because a round trip was a wallet punching $70, so we decided to make do with what was available. I didn't mention earlier that we tried to park up to see a waterfall called Shannon Falls. Long story short, no parking, didn't want to wait. But we could see it from the ground here, so that kinda makes up for it. After indulging ourselves in a sweet treat, we once again made our way back on the road. Feeling slightly defeated, I asked my girlfriend to search for any more waterfalls on the way. She said there was one called Brandywine Falls. The name sounded familiar. I remembered that my friend, who used to live in BC, recommended it to me. In fact, he basically made our whole itinerary for our stay. All of what we did, he kind of just recommended it to us. So thanks, Brian. After parking, we hiked for about 15 minutes where we came to the lookout point. After exploring around, we decided to head back. It was around lunchtime and we were on a good pace. If we got back on the road now, we would be on track to reach Whistler by 1 to 2 p.m. We reached a fork in the road where it gave us two options. Hike for 2.2 kilometers toward a bridge, or we get back on the road and keep going. I think collectively, we thought hiking 2.2 kilometers was gonna be a breeze. Oh, how naive, how immature, how not prepared we were for the next hour. Our spirits started high, but slowly as our feet carried us across the dirt paths, with the sun beaming down on us without a cloud in the sky, we were realizing just how big a mistake we made. Most importantly, we did not bring any water. But we were simply too deep to not see this through. And after a half hour of hiking, we reached the bridge where one of us decided to experience something totally insane as a reward for all the hard work we just put in. Did you really think one of us took the plunge? <laughs> I laugh in your face. If you didn't, well, good for you, I guess. Anyways, after reaching the bridge, we realized we had to hike another 30 minutes back. So we sped through the hike and was on the road again. Since that hike took us at least an hour, we were now losing time. We were not far from Whistler but I wanted to go see the Whistler Olympic Park, which, contrary to what you think, 
is 30 minutes away from Whistler. I had been tipped off that bears like to roam that area. Sadly, we did not see any. So, after wasting another hour searching for bears, we finally reached Whistler. We're here, guys. We're here. Oh, that seems cool. So we have about an hour here in Whistler, and then we gotta drive all the way back to Vancouver. We have slated the return for around 6.30. We leave here, we leave here at four, so we'll see. As you heard, we only had about an hour in Whistler, and truth be told, we did not spend it well. The hour flew by, and once again we were on the road, except this time, we, or rather, I, was under some pressure. Okay, so we're a little bit behind schedule, uh, unfortunately, uh, just because um, we got lost, well me and Alex did, and then we went to get drinks, so we're going to return the car now, and unfortunately it was a two hour drive. but. We're gonna try to stay positive. <laughs> try. Um, but hopefully, Vancouver traffic isn't horrible and we can get this car in by that time. Well, hopefully, we can just do this. But with our experience right now, Vancouver drivers aren't the smartest bunch. Um, so, well get to Vancouver Airport to drop this thing off. What happened? Uh, so we're pretty much back in Vancouver, well, we're in North Vancouver right now, and uh, to get into Vancouver, there's a uh, half an hour of traffic we have to sit through. And <clears throat> that is why we are going to be late. Well, not really, but I hope this is accounted for in here. In this it time. seems to be. It seems to be. So. That's, uh... So, let's say traffic actually gets moving. That means that we will be on time. Hopefully, we still have to get some too. <sighs> Like that's a small moment in the movie, whereas the entire premise of the Evil Dead is like we're moving. Movie. I'm giving this point to Wade. Thank you. Wade. More faster. Allow repeats of titles because obviously if it comes up late, it cannot. It like we there's hope. We're gonna be in this. Like, <laughs> well, how we'll play like I don't think you guys have any like it's enough. We're only delayed by a minute. That's super. I know so. it's super. I'm just trying to share that all. But we're getting Dana right back once we go freaking gas up. We'll be okay. Gas up done. It's 1851. There were none, and Mommy Dearest. Uh, and then there were none of the episode 16 6 that day of the year. I'm having deja vu. After 10 p.m. tonight. It is our third day of riding a train again. Yeah. Ooh, it's really I'm having cut deja out. vu. It's cut out very like. What? 
it, it, the 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 stuff itself is very like halted. Yeah, I'm gonna get chicken, bro. So as of right now, a lot of things have not gone to plan. It's okay. Mostly parking. <laughs> yeah, mostly parking. Well, a lot of it hasn't hasn't gone to plan either. Just like. I am well, we were on track. We were on track. We were on and so track. Alex put us off track, literally. It's okay, you know, well, I, I enjoyed track. nature. But I have, I found some food vendor plans, like stands that everyone like enjoyed. So yeah, like I'm excited. Budget wise. It's like, all of them are five, or like $10. You know what we should do tonight? Plus. We should order skip tonight, boys. Yeah, and drink the rest of the soju. You right. See, we, we, should, we should do skip tonight, boys. But I'm gonna buy souvenir, souvenirs, souvenirs Salve. here. You know, just have fun. If you can't find any, then what? I'm gonna eat it all up. Eat on my money. Did we actually explain what happened? Uh, hmm? No. So, imagine this. Fade to black. Oh dear. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Cut back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened is, is that we were at um, Whistler. We were at Whistler and we were just going around and then because we took so long hiking to the valley that we went there and then we didn't realize how long how long the drive back was going to be so when i mentioned it was four we started we, we started leaving and got some coffee then we didn't realize that it was a fucking two two, two hours, hours and 30 minutes yeah and it drive. was six it was like wow yeah and it was like it was 6 12 and the drop off was at 6 30. but yeah. thankfully enterprise has a 30 minute grace period which we barely hit barely it was like 50 what 52 when we got there yeah something like that yeah and then the freaking the lady who took our thing and went to check our car didn't she like disappeared yeah she like disappeared she didn't come back soon enough yeah, so then yeah another person had to come in step in look at the car it turns out we were good we rushed to the washroom and then we had to decide oh shit richmond's only like 10 minutes away if we uber back to the airbnb be, there and back commute time will be an hour yep and then um so then we had to decide oh richmond's 10 minutes away we'll just we'll just go there right right away <laughs> and everyone's like okay, okay whatever oh. But uh, yeah, so right now we are just three stops away. We're gonna arrive at the night market. Go around, Alex said she has a lot of food spots to hit up. We're gonna get souvenirs for everyone that we think needs a souvenir. Yeah. yeah. Because if you don't deserve one, then fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> don't complain. But yeah, so after this, we're most likely only gonna be there an hour. An hour, hour and a half. Half, two hours. Like, I don't see us staying there anywhere past like two hours max. Then we're gonna Uber back. Um, Hopefully it's cheaper. Uber, order some food for delivery. Yeah. Maybe chill in the hot tub for the last day. And then finish up anything else that we need to finish. Like that packing, we can't bring onto the plane. Packing and stuff. Uh, yeah. Hopefully Master Snickers hasn't less left us anything no, bad. Doesn't. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, that's our plan now. So such a stressful day. Two more stops. It's so annoying. My head hurts. She wants to say something. Okay, what are your guys' disabilities? Cause you're in a priority or like oh because you guys are sitting there. Mentally. You guys aren't sitting seniors, so No, my son a mentally this no, train is a Comment down below What's what, it, what well, is I'm his ASL interpreter. <laughs> I N C O. Whenever Jay's signs, he looks like a yeah. monkey. <laughs> Yeah. Or maybe his ears is just. Yeah. No, it's absolutely true. I'm going to drive the car to. Uh, yeah. I'm going to drive the car to. You're going to have to, like, subtitle this for me. The next station is Templeton. Thank you. For YPR Airport parking.
After barely avoiding paying another day's rate on the rental car, we took the train to Bridgeport Station and walked towards what was arguably one of the things we mainly looked forward to on this trip, the Richmond Night Market. A weekly festival that runs throughout the summer months that offer many options for Asian foods and imported and locally created products tailored toward the Asian populace. The minds were ready, the wallets were not. What did you say, Alex? Where are we going? Where are we going? Sushi taco. Ew, that's so close. How much is this? Thirteen dollars each. Golly. I. Right, this better be worth it, Alex. I just, I just heard a lot of people. Alex, this better it. be worth it. There's a lot of people just said it was good. So on it TikTok. was good. It's not worth it. Good does not equal worth it, Alex. Jacob, what'd you get? Uh, mango paradise. You got the mango paradise? I got the chicken karage. Honestly, maybe. It's good. That's like 25 cents. I think it's good. It's all right. It's not worth thirteen dollars, but it's aight. I mean, it's aight. Like, what should I bite? How is it, Jacob? Refreshing. How is it? Glad I have my watch on. Alex, how was Jacob's? Refreshing, Alex. Actually. This one's okay. <laughs> I like that it has a lot of sauce in it. Yeah. It makes it like... It's like a chipotle sauce juicy. too. Juicy. And it's spread with a chicken. Oh, they got like so spinning potatoes. Those are good. The rotatoes. Those are good. Those I feel like you should have gotten a more salmon, um, more sushi topping. Like yeah. yeah. Eh, it's alright. I just like that it has a lot of sauce in it. So, if worst comes to worst and we need to buy our souvenirs, we have to do it at the airport. Oh. Okay, let's walk around. Alex, what are your thoughts so far? I need to buy, I want to buy jewelry. That's the one thing I'm going to walk out here with. Jewelry. Why do you need jewelry about? Shh, that was, that was my plan all along. Blanca. Yeah, it's freshly freshly fried. Look, I'm wearing white. <laughs> I'm not. Too bad. You already have lint all over yourself. So. That's true. Your time. How's it? Crispy potato. Hmm? Crispy potato. That's good. I can barely taste the sour cream though. Oh, you gotta like get that part. It's too hot. Pahingi. Nilang? Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Here, audience, say ah. Ah. Not you. <laughs> I'm an audience too, you know. 186. And? Tastes like potato. It is potato! Fried potato. That's exactly what it is. It's just fried potato.
trying. And the games are over there, right? <laughs> Joel would love this. Joel would absolutely love this. Here. It's so good. The it mango is really good. so good. Mm. Oh, that mango is so sweet. I love this. So good. This was what, $13? I don't know. Yeah, it was like th it was $13. This is probably the best item here. Like 100% bro. Mm -hmm. 100%. Like, it's actually, can I show it again? Yeah. It's fairly sized too, like, that's my hand compared to it. It's pretty big. Wow, we only took a picture of that. Guys, can we take a picture of the night mart, of all six of us at the night mart before sure. we go at night time? We can do the neon light, period. With coconut cream. They give it looks like they give you more mango. Honest opinion. It's alright. I would just rather have the mango. Jacob, honest opinion. Refreshing, but I agree, Joe. I'll take the rice yeah. then. <laughs> It'd be so much easier if you just bought a mango. Fuck you, it's called I Wanna Eat. It, it would have been so much cheaper to buy just a mango. Like, we could have avoided this whole thing. We could have went to TNT instead, bought a fuck ton of mangoes, and just munch on it in the pool, in the hot tub. Oh my god, that would have been so nice. Honestly, I'm gonna get on with large fries. That's what I'm gonna munch on. And we're back at the Airbnb. It's our last night in here, so yep. I feel like last we need to Last night go with Master Snickers here. I feel like you don't like no snuggling. No You like snuggling with our hands. You no don't like snuggling today, with us. No surprises today, which is good. Oh, That's he, a good boy. I heard boy. him purr. Oh, good boy. Good morning. It's a sad day today. Or is it sad? We're leaving Master Snickers. Yeah, Master Snickers. Why, why? It's also sad for other reasons. We're leaving Vancouver. Yeah. Our vacation is over. Any thoughts, guys? Hmm? Any thoughts oh. on leaving? It felt short. It was short. Jacob? Yeah. Honestly, same. I want to go play Minecraft. Oh, look at that. There's a master snippet. Appreciation segment. Why has this become our default, guys? What? Outlet mall? Yeah, the outlet mall. It's better than the one at Edmonton. Yes. Thank you. Except for the planes going overhead every five minutes. The fact that it's outside. I like it. Well, I like the nice. fact that it's outside. It's nice outside. 
I'm safe. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm hungry. Same. Roll out. Uh huh? Say again? Uh, Ryu Dragon Rouge. That was not good. I know. You say it then. I actually realized I haven't held the camera basically all this trip. And that's not right. So. But we're at the restaurant now. We're just waiting for food. It's so expensive here. And, um. My limit is limiting. And then, I don't know if they told you this already, but we had to pay for carry on too, which is like $59. So, we won't test those law orders anymore. But, we got food here, food here, food here. Bad we could eat because that was like what $19. Update when we can all get the rest of our food. It gets cooked with the rest, Alex. What you got? I got the honey duck breast kamameshi. Dog or duck? Duck. Uh, beef. Kamameshi. Got the beef. And then you got the curry. Uh, okay. Where's my curry? No, katsu done. Oh, thank you. I want to take one big photo up there. And that's it. Okay. Let's munch. It was warm, but I'm tired now. Good. How was your food? It was really good. It was really filling. It was good. What's the question? Are you going to be okay sitting by yourself? How was your food? Really filling. I didn't expect myself to get filled, so um, I gave some to Pan out to go. Thank you, Joe, for helping me finish it. How was your food, Joe? How was the curry udon? That's nice. You. How your food? It was good. It was just a lot of rice. And I think that the lettuce, spinach, whatever the leafy thing was, it was too much. So I couldn't finish it. So I gave it to the next person, which is. Well, the rest. It was like a spoonful. My hand can't contort that way. Oh my god, why is it so close? Because they zoomed it in. Okay, there. How was yours? It was alright. I was a big tired now, so I might nap on the plane, which won't be a bad thing. And yeah. I'm gonna head to the airport and hopefully Alex won't have a mental breakdown again. Just like how we got here, we're walking back to the, the station from Alamo. Look, there's poop. More poop. More poop. poop. Oh yeah, it's come full circle, full circle.
Well, I guess I'm alone. I'm a freak. This train is for YBR Airport. Egypt. Total out of there. No. Oh. She tried to use her hand, and then her hand opened. You'll be alright. And then Jor and Adrian are like way up front. Bastards. It's very hot right now. Very hot. I didn't know. We're gonna be watching for the train. And uh, yeah. I don't know what they were going yet. We shall see. Bye. She survived. Wow. wow, good for you, Alex. Great job. I was a big girl. How was, I was a big girl. How was your flight? It was good. It was better. Nice. We made it home. It was good. There we go. Full circle. Full circle. So we are going to go our separate ways. Joe's gonna go to volleyball. They're gonna go to volleyball. We're gonna go home. So this is, I guess, officially the end of the 2024 jam trip. And many more to come. We gotta start planning for next year. We gotta start planning for next year now, guys. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed that. We enjoyed it. We wish we had more time. Okay. Let's get back. Okay, outro. Oh, you you wanna okay. Outro since this last one. Bye guys. Uh.